check this out. Boom. Grand view point. 100 year old bike. That was so. All right. So, how does it work, man? <laughs> hey guys, this is another cycling adventure from uh, California, Los Angeles. To be specific, we're gonna be mountain biking in Big Bear. I've had some mountain biking experience in Big Bear. It was so good, I wanted to go back. And Big Bear is an amazing place and pretty much every time I fly into Los Angeles, we fly straight over Big Bear Lake. And it's such a really cool view. And every time I fly over it, I'm, I'm like, I wanna go there again. So the weekend after I did this Grizzly 100 mountain bike race, I was flying to LA again. I took a friend with me on the trip to go mountain biking in Big Bear again. And Velo Guide hooked us up with a local, so we would be riding with a guide all weekend. We started very early in the morning with our drive to Big Bear, and that's where the story starts. What's up, guys? What's up, cycling? Fanatics! I'm with uh, Jasper Okulu. Check this out. This is one of the best views you can ever have. We're on our way to Big Bear Lake, where we're gonna meet up with Derek. He is the guy in Big Bear that knows everything about riding bikes. He's gonna show us some hidden trails today. So cold. Current temperature here in Big Bear is uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very close to freezing. <laughs> Time for a sweater. Just arrived at Derek's house. So. Hey, how Good are you? Good morning, Let's man. Make some coffee. This is morning. cold. That's the other thing I was like trying to. Uh, you it know, was. Like, it is cold. You can't go super early in the morning because it's like fucking freezing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like it's been in the 20s. Fahrenheit, you know, which we just found out below, so like cool. 10 degrees below freezing. Yeah, yeah, Jasper is a, he's a mountain bike specialist, so. So how long do we want to ride today? Uh, I don't know. What do you want to do, Jasper? Do you do four or five hours? Four or five hours? <laughs> Holy shit, okay. So I'll take you guys out and I'll show you some areas that are really super cool. Hidden Indian trails trail. and stuff. That's what's cool. Indian trails, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna take you to Bluff Lake and Siberian Creek and I'm gonna come back and do dry hump and trick or treat and a bunch of trails that cool. aren't on maps. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Go. Feel this bike. Which, uh, which? This is 17.4, so I'll figure out kilograms. Check out this. Uh, these that's deep. custom 14 karat gold. Really? Yeah, the whole thing was a project. Custom graphics, custom wrap saddle, all titanium hardware with like, you know, yeah. Uh, these are so nice. extra light with ceramic bearings or my wheel set. The wheel set's 1,040 grams. You know, the Eagle Grupo, right? Yeah, this yeah. is the Falcon Grupo. Uh. So we do different conversions of like 946s or 944s or whatever, 11 speed with the grip shift and an elliptical. Uh. So always interesting to meet Derek again. After him showing his super custom lightweight bike and making us some special cowboy coffee with his uh, interesting brewing method. We went out to get some breakfast. We had time because it was still super cold. So we went to this place, uh, Nottingham's, where we had some eggs benedict in a special way. And then we went to the shop. Time for bikes. All right, at the shop, pulling out the Penny Farley straight so this away. This is a hundred year old bike that was made in California. That's a reproduction of a, like a 200 year old bike. So. All right, so how does it work, man? What's the deal here? <laughs> 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 Who are <the> <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
Right, you're right above the yeah, the so turning big. point of the wheel. It's so crazy, man. Yeah, and then the wheel's so big. It's so Bad. Cool. That's another introduction into uh, into big Bear Valley bike shop. Uh, well, you've seen more of it in the previous video of the Grizzly 100. Derek is gonna set us up again with some bikes. I'm gonna ride the same bike as I did last weekend on the race so i'm familiar with the bike so that's good and they're going to set up another bike for uh, for jasper so a few moments later it's all my feet eh? in the kit ready to roll jasper uh is just testing out his bike for uh for today so i uh, go from never mountain biking to uh Riding mountain bikes two weekends in a row. I can really use some new mountain bikes and shoes, right? Derek is gonna take us on the secret trail, which are very secret. But after today, when it gets on YouTube, I'm not I'm not sure how secret they're gonna be. Well you can't Is that a problem? Is that a problem? You can't go like if this is this trail. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go um Go up Talmadge here and then on to Pine Knot. We're going to have the Pine Knot to go through the Skyline, Skyline, out to basically the Bluff Lake. We're going to land on one side of Bluff Lake, around the other side of Bluff Lake, in through uh, Jamie Lodge Pine, outside Bering Creek and back. Then we're going to go up across to Intan, probably maybe even hop on Park Skyline. And then we're going to drop down, dry hop, back up Plantation, down Sugar Tree, back up, and then we're going to do Power Line to Snow Forest, and then we'll figure it out from there. So, you guys understand why I'm taking a local? Because <laughs> this stuff is. Yeah. Impossible to memorize and to do by yourself. It is not, and these, a lot of these trails aren't on maps. That's exactly. It's all not on maps, secret stuff. Let's roll. Difficult. Ah. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is Bluff Lake Reserve. Okay. So in the olden, olden days, when they used to come to Big Bear, they used to drive up, and these buildings here were actually a store. And they would come up Clark's grade, and they would come into Bluff Lake, and they would get resupply. And you know, the pioneer days, you know? 
So a couple of the structures still exist, and then you'll see the lake over here in a minute. There's oh. all these cool little rock formations. There's a there. fireplace. Yeah, fireplace. And now this is more like a picnic well, area. Or... Okay. But not anymore. No, <laughs> that's obvious. <laughs> this is, uh, the Bluff Lake Reserve Wildlife Conservancy. Wow, this looks amazing. Pretty cool, huh? Whoa. When Drover gets back, I'm gonna bring her up here and... <laughs> All right, so Bluff Lake. This is not the top secret part, but we'll be there later today. <laughs> Which one? Oh, this one. A hundred and forty years old tree. All right, doing a lap around the oldest tree, around, making a wish. now as you've just seen right there is Keller Peak where I was there two weeks ago on the road bike and the view from here is really really good check it out all wow. the way over there what do you think of the trails the trails are awesome good course yeah I love it man really good we've got two velo guides today so we got Sam he's doing his first velo guide today and we got the old time very experienced rider right here the Hermanator himself fixing his bike good to go uh, I want to check it I need someone to pedal for me so I can shift it and see what's too tough on. <laughs> good no. I mean at least I can ride out of here at least I got a couple gears
Alright man, that was a really cool uh, secret part of the ride today. It's really noticeable that these trails are not used as much as the other trails, right? Yeah. It's really cool. Uh, Derek has to take care of some stuff, so uh, Sam's gonna take us along for the rest of the day. But we're sleeping at Derek's house, so we'll see him later today. Yep. All right? All right. Peace out. See you later. <sighs> It's nice. So after riding some of these uh, secret trails of Big Bear, yeah. which are not on the map and you wouldn't be able to find without riding with a local, we went up to Grandview Point. That's a point that I haven't been before. Uh, the race a week before, obviously we did not have time to stop at Grandview Point and take pictures. It's right on top of the mountain ridge in Big Bear. Woo! The Skyline Trail passes it. You have to do a little, little extra climb and then you end up on this nice, amazing place with a really <laughs> awesome view. Maybe on a downhill bike? Check this out. Boom. Grand view point. So yeah, Grandview Point is a really cool spot. So we sat there for a little bit, had some rest and enjoyed the view. We were pretty much on the highest point in and around Big Bear, around 2,600 meters. So everything was downhill from that point, which was good. And Sam explained a little bit more about the, the high peaks around that you could see with the Sugarloaf Mountain, which is almost 10,000 feet. And then San Geronio Mountain was even higher. We made a little plan about what we were gonna do and we decided to go through the downhill mountain bike park that uh, is in Big Bear. So normally you would take the ski lift to the top and then downhill through the park back down. But we were already at the top so we just had a couple trails to go before we got to the park.
respect for you, man, on the hard deal. <laughs> Some kind of tricky parts where you don't see where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the rocks. So uh, on the hard deal, it was pretty difficult, but it was fun. It was great fun, huh? Yeah, it was good fun. How was that, Sam? Oh, that was challenging. It was cool, huh? <laughs> My hands. So yeah. I'm also tired. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, that was a really good idea to, to sprint back home. Great last smash for the legs. Anyway, uh, the bike got cleaned by uh, the bike shop, which was awesome because we were riding the next day. Uh, we loaded up the bikes in this massive truck that we rented, which was uh, convenient. So we grabbed some food and went back to Derek's house to see where we would be sleeping that night, resting up for another right. big day of riding the next ah, day. Ah, nice! We're gonna share one bed. Oh. But it's a pretty big bed. Yeah. Can we snug up like next to each other and... You can do whatever you want. Big spoon, small spoon. Where? One eternity later. All right, man. After a shower, we feel uh, a little better, but we're so tired. Uh, just finished uploading the the Instagram story and uh, we're chilling here in, in uh, Herman's I, I sometimes I call you Herman. I don't know why Derek's house watching his really big television <laughs> but it's it's 730 right now and uh, We're gonna we're gonna jump in bed pretty soon uh, Jasper you the Jasper he is completely How do you feel? Tired, man. How is the jet lag? Are you tired? Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna experience the, the real deal of, of this freaking time difference and flying up and back from Amsterdam to California and back and ride your bike and try to be happy all day long. Try to be happy. <laughs> and, and, and excited and I mean